This is insane. So I'm looking at, um, I came across this post on Facebook by a platform by the name of Hip Hop Wave who reported that Bad Bunny earned the highest one month, one month of gross in history with $123.7 million from just 500 plus tickets sold in 11 shows, bro, in September. This is insane. And I was just having a discussion and I had made this post. I was like, bro, I know Drake got to be sick. Like, I know Drake. Drake is like my favorite artist. Drake's best project is if you read reading this, it's too late. Like, period. You can't. Hands down. Drake's best album. But I know Drake got to be tight about this, bro. Like, I thought, honestly, in my honest opinion, in my heart of hearts, I've never thought I would ever see an artist that would be as big as Drake. And I got to agree with DJ Academics. I've never in a thousand years thought that we would see somebody like I, I used to. Honestly, I seen a video of a woman climbing on stage at a Bad Bunny concert. And she just tried. She tried her best to get on stage. Like she was going to break her neck to try to get on stage. Like she was like, I'm risking it all. I'm going to risk it all. Like. I'm seeing women throw panties. Like, I'm seeing it, like, in real time, bro. I mean, of course I wasn't there. I'm watching, I'm talking about from the video. Like, they throwing panties at this man. They throwing bras at this man. Like, I'd least seen, I, I know I seen one of Precious, I'm pretty sure it was like, Precious, I seen a pair of extra large panties up there, bro. Like, crazy insane. But Bad Bunny got the wave, and... The last, the only comparison that I could really think, that I could really think of that is similar to this situation is Michael Jackson when you've seen just women just faint and left and right. I've never seen someone who had this much of a effect on people willing to break a foot, break a toenail to try to like literally get to this man. And like, I've never seen someone like, you know, I heard a couple of his songs, you know, but just musically, this is insane. Like, people don't understand. Like, this right here is probably, like, if you're a music head and you really into, like, music, you love music, this right here, bro, this probably will never be done again. In one month, one month, 500,000 tickets sold, bro. That is crazy. And a quick reminder, like... This is stadiums that he's doing, not arenas. Like arenas, let's let's just. I just want to, you know, educate and inform you guys that like the difference because arenas sit like upwards, probably at the most like twenty something thousand, right? Anywhere from like fifteen to twenty thousand at best. But when you when you go to talk about filling up stadiums and packing out stadiums, bro, stadiums sit upwards of like 60 to 100,000 like plus people. Like that's when you start to get into like the 80s and the 90s and 100 plus thousand people. Like that's a lot of people, bro. So if he did that a night, that would be insane. That you're you're a one man football, a one man football team. You're literally a one-man football baseball team, meaning that you don't need a group of people to do a stadium. That means billions of dollars are being generated for Bad Bunny. And if you're just looking on the surface, you're just like, man, like $123 million. But all in all, bro, like this man, this is this is crazy because you got to think of, the parking outside, you know, some stadiums charge for parking, you know, uh, concession stands, everything factored into the, like this man is this is like a walking billion dollar man right now. Like you would literally have to protect him like the president. And it's not me exaggerating like this is dead serious. Like you would have to this right here is a level of you will have to 
protect us. Like he needs secret service to go a lot of places because this is a man who is pretty much a hot commodity. He's like, you have to protect him at all costs. Like when you see people throwing around, protect this man at all costs. And, you know, we going, you know, they trying to uh, uh, ban this person and ban that person. If they really care about this person, bro. Y'all going to treat him. Y'all would treat that person like y'all would do a bad bunny. Right. This man has to be protected when you doing a hundred and twenty three million a show. When you doing a hundred and twenty three million for just 11 shows, bro, that becomes that that gets to the point where all right, we got to protect him because this is our money. He's feeding families. I'm about to become a Spanish artist. I'm about to become a black Spanish rapper. Ooh, they mama ti da di da. Ooh, 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 mama ti da di da. Eru de wenu de runde rister mute ni da ni da ni wey chute. Shout out to Bad Bunny, man. You know, talented artist. I did hear. The song, the only song that I've really heard is with Carol G. And the only reason I've really listened to the song is because I was trying to learn Spanish. But I've always just been, you know, like I love Spanish people my entire life. Like it's just certain people that just gravitate to me, you know, like Spanish people, especially Asian people. Asian people love me. Like I've I've been to places and Asian people just love me. And the same thing with Spanish people. Like they always I've always seen Spanish people as one of us. You know, I'm black, right? So I've always seen Spanish people as one of us. And quick story, I gotta tell this story. Since we talk in Spanish, right? So me and my friend, his name was Chuck. In middle school, we used to sit in class, right? And uh, we had a few Spanish friends. Like, this is, I'm telling you, bro. Like, this was culture and time and life was just so amazing, bro. It was nothing like this madness, the wickedness that we are experiencing now. Like, people weren't as sensitive. We were just having fun. Times was lit. We was living, bro. So, in class, right, we had two Spanish friends and me and my friend Chuck and this is like the best time of my life. I'm going to get to the point. Y'all just wait, okay? So I was sitting in there, and Chuck was like, you know, we'd, we'd make little jokes or whatever. And he, like, we'd say, we'd ask our, you know, Spanish friends how we could crack jokes with each other and insult each other in Spanish. So one of the words I learned was, uh, tu madre sucio. Like, I used to say his mother was dirty, and we used to just get to laughing. And he would say something about, he'd be like, negroness. Like, it's blackness. I think that's blackness in Spanish. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. He used to be like, negroness. So, man, it was just a, a great time. This was had to have been around 2007. And um, I remember every morning on MTV, Daddy Yankee would come on. And then, rump it, rump it. Break it down. And that same little Spanish beat. We walk around. Break it down. But yeah, man. Like, shout out to Bad Bunny, man. This right here is historical, man. Like, this is something that I don't think will ever be done. And it just goes to show you that it, this is one month, bro. And I think this is going to get a lot of... Like, listen, bro. A lot of R&B or just music... Like artists in general and entertainment, whether that's rap, hip hop, they gonna be tight. They gotta be, they gotta be sick at looking at this right here. Like this right here will make somebody lose hair and be upset. Like doing Super Bowls. Listen, like this man, bro. Literally, I've ne we've never seen this before, and they just go to show you that that's one month. Imagine what he could do in two months. Imagine we could do three, four a year. Like, that's insane. Like, that's just crazy. And we'll probably never see nothing like this ever again, bro. Like, this is crazy. I seen someone say a comment like, uh, can't name one song by this person. <laughs> you ain't got to. You don't have to name a song. Obviously, the people who going to see him know the song. You don't have to. And obviously, you don't need to know. 
You don't need to you don't need to know. You not knowing is getting him a hundred and twenty three million dollars in one month. And it just go to show you how, you know, I seen, you know, people like to attribute his success to, you know, being aligned with, you know, the rainbow community or whatnot, right? But my thing my thinking is this and this is why I think that our culture in terms of uh people of color you know, who black is me, because I'm talking about like I'm dark skinned, black, black. You know, I think this is why it's pretty, it's, it's very hard for us to elevate and, you know, to, you know, climb that ladder of success in the corporate world because we, the way we, you know, it's just, it's too personal for us. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's, this is why a lot of the, like I said, the labels I said in my previous video, a lot of the label heads are, going to be like, all right, well, y'all don't support y'all own people and <laughs> y'all not, you know, it's, it's going to be difficult, bro. And that's why they, it's it's, it's going to be a, a, it's a cultural shift that's happening in society right now, but it's going to put a lot of uh, us, you know, in the heterosexual community in the minority because we not supporting, you know, it's like, we gotta, we not supporting our own people. So you're going to see a lot of label heads gonna go and start working with people like the bad bunnies of the world and a lot of these, you know, artists because they like, all right, well, look how y'all view y'all people. Y'all not gonna support. So we gonna put our marketing dollars, our money into promoting artists like Bad Bunny who's gonna get a hundred and twenty three million in a month. They black people, right? We got mad at Lil Uzi Vert for having a belly button ring. Like, this is crazy. And I think I need to move this picture because I feel like this man, Bad Bunny, is just like staring at me for some reason. So let me scroll down. <laughs> Seeing a lot of people say, I don't know who he is. Bro, if I could get $10 million by people not knowing who I am, I would love it. Don't know me. Don't know me at all.